Welcome to Aquaba Gallery, the channel dedicated to African art, culture and history. Oreo's main focus is on spirituality in Africa and how it interacts with cultural identity. He gets inspiration for his art from futuristic characters, blending them with traditional African artifacts. In his creations, he tells stories filled with metaphors that move through time, touching on the past, present and future. The return to African spirituality is a cultural revival, recollecting people with traditional beliefs, practices and values from the continent. This movement seeks to reclaim ancestral spirituality and diverse traditions, deeply tied to nature, community and the divine across different African regions. It's important to highlight that this return doesn't reject other beliefs, but embraces a holistic identity, fostering empowerment, healing and cultural restoration. It bridges the past, present and future, creating pride and connection for those on this spiritual journey. Click the subscribe button for more content about African heritage. My name is Orio Yebukola and I'm a visual artist from Nigeria. In my paintings, I bring together traditional African and European aesthetics, weaving them into a vividly realized world that draws inspiration from the diverse religions and traditions of West Africa. One of my works from 2022 is Embrace Black Heritage, a piece born out of my desire to celebrate the beauty of African cultural heritage and respond to the stigmatization faced by individuals who choose to embrace or practice ancestral religions. Within this painting, a figure exudes an air of confidence, striking a posture that's both assertive and captivating. Seated upon a throne from the past ages, she wears clothing that dances with abstract patterns, seamlessly blending modernity with tradition. This abstract clothing serves as a visual metaphor for the convergence of heritage and contemporary existence. She carries a traditional tattoo on her lap, known as Ntadi, Mother and Child. This sculpture finds its origin in Congo and have historically been displayed on royal graves. It is paramount that we delve into a deeper understanding and appreciation of this invaluable artifact, as well as practices that are integral to our ancestors' life, rather than perpetuating the misguided stigma that our ancestral beliefs are common. <laughs> 